We're going to hit your cancer hard. We're going to attack. We're going to give you this chemotherapy. And we're going to give it this chemotherapy. And we're going to go with all of this like might and vigor. And I was like sitting there kind of going, what is he saying? My dad stops the doctor. And he goes, what are you really saying, doc? Like, what do you really mean? And the doctor, I took a breath and he goes, you have 18 months to live. Now I'm sitting in this room with my dad and the doctor looked right at him and says, you're gonna die in a few months. So in my, in my body, like my stomach dropped. You know when you go on like an elevator and it goes down really fast and your whole fucking stomach like drops? Yeah. Then you go, oh shit. Or you're like on an airplane, you hit turbulence, you go, fuck. Oh my God, I had that, but like my vision, it like went blurry. And I remember sitting there going, this is not, this is not happening. Like, I didn't expect that. I kind of expected that they, they would say something that would like save them. But he was saying, we're gonna do all these things, but no matter what we do, you're gonna die. Now, if you haven't lost somebody in your family or something, you're gonna. And if you have, you and I have been through the same shit. So I was like sitting here, like, like going back from that meeting, like at the hospital to the studio. And I'm like, how do I write something that feels good and lifts us up? It was like impossible, so I was cynical. Now I stay up really late and I read shit and I learn shit and I try my hardest to like bring you guys and people that follow what I do, things that are gonna make you think a little bit differently. But on this, I don't know what happens when we die. I don't know if it's great on the other side. A lot of us grew up in religion. I'm gonna teach you this shit, but you're in the religion that you that you were born into, you know? Like my parents are into this shit, so I believe it, whatever. At this point, I was like, I don't really know. So, my dad did not last 18 months like the doctor said he would. My dad lasted somewhere around six months. And on the night that he died, I remember I was sitting at this house and like he was in this bed um, and they were giving him morphine because the pain was insane, you know? Like he had all these different types of cancer. They didn't even know what fucking cancer it was. And I, I was exhausted, like I was like emotionally exhausted. So I go home and I fall asleep, take a nap. At three in the morning, true story, three in the morning, I wake up and I have like all the hair in my arms and my neck standing up, all these goosebumps. I was like, holy shit, what the fuck? I felt like a million volts of electricity was racing through my body. I also remember that there was a light, like these lights over here, so fucking bright in the room. So I remember, I swear to God, I put my hand up and I was like, what the fuck is, there's a light in there. I didn't understand what was going on. It felt so good, but it felt like supernatural. And I, and I, and I put my hand up and then right at that second, my phone on my fucking nightstand, it buzzes. So I look over at my phone and on the screen, it was the nurse and she goes, your dad just passed. So I grab the phone and I call my sister. My sister Carrie answers the phone. And I go, Carrie, and I was like, she was fucking up at 3 a.m. I'm like, what are you doing? She goes, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I feel. I feel something's weird. She goes, I feel like there's electricity in my body. I feel good. I feel warm. And she stopped and then she goes, I'll never forget this. She goes, I feel like I feel like there's this big hug. Or she makes me cry. I get, get emotional. But she goes, I feel like this big hug. And then I was like, Dad just died. And his fucking soul went straight through me and it went straight through you and that's what you're feeling. I got in my truck and I raced over to the house and there were people crying, like his wife and other family members. And they're all, Tom, do you want to go see your father? And I said, fuck you, that's just a body. He's gone. And I felt him and I knew exactly what I felt because when his grand my, my grandmother when his mom died it was four in the afternoon and I felt the same shit but it wasn't as strong but when she died I felt I woke up from the same fucking that it was so weird I feel like everything is planned you know like you have these things happen so you can tell people I feel like this happened you know, I woke up but it wasn't as strong it was like 20 percent as strong so I knew the fucking feeling and my dad called me and he's like your grandmother just died and he's crying and shit so I knew the feeling so I went to the funeral, had a couple hundred people sitting here, everyone's crying. And again, I was like, fuck off, you guys don't understand. 
that there's something great and there's something fucking beautiful on their side and I felt it for like two seconds you know people don't know because you have friends that have felt shit like this or you guys have friends that have seen something and we call it supernatural it's paranormal but I am telling you from the bottom of my heart as a normal dude grew up a skateboarder and a punk rock band I am telling you yeah. believe me that this shit is real I feel like it happened to me so I can share it with you yeah. so you know what I did you guys remember that song, that fucking song when Alon joined the band, the first song on the album, The Dreamwalker? It's not the first song on that album, it was the first song that we wrote. And I was cynical. I was like, I don't believe in this, I don't believe in this, I don't necessarily feel this. Well, I grabbed that fucking song, and you can bet your dick that I had a chorus for it. My entire perception, my entire point of view changed. And I wrote the end of that song. So, we're gonna play that song for you right now. Yeah. I want you to know one thing. Normally, with some type of, actually, I don't even know normally. I don't know any band that would stop a show to talk about something like this. It's like I'm Tony Robbins or some shit. I'm not trying to be. Yeah. I'm just trying to tell you. Let me just try and tell you one thing. That, that we're all the same. Like you feel like an individual and you feel like you're alone and you feel like you don't totally fit in, no matter how many friends you have, no matter how many jobs you carry, it doesn't fucking matter. We're all on this journey together and we all feel like shit. You know, you don't really fit in at work or you don't have the best job or like you don't really fit in with your relationship, whatever. I'm just here to tell you that it's all gonna be okay. There's something beautiful and amazing waiting for us. And I want you to remember that. And rather than dedicate this song to my dad, I'm gonna dedicate this song to you guys so you feel something and you understand the journey I went through and you take it into your own heart and you carry it forward. This song is called Tunnels and it goes like this. Yeah. 